will be the potential once again for heavy rain with some street flooding possible for spots and then all of us will be looking drier and hotter as a ridge of high pressure builds in and really heats us up later this week, maybe mid 90s back in the mix for those high temperatures. On satellite and radar imagery, again, there has been just a little bit of spin here, and that does have a low chance of development in two days, and then it will already be inland. So then there might be a little bit of a break when it's moving over parts of the Gulf Coast toward the southeast coast of the U.S., and that's where it will have the higher chance. Right now it looks like maybe 40% or so chance. That's from the National Hurricane Center for Development. So let me show you that, again, this is moving away from us. It has helped to spark rain, and we knew we, going into this weekend, we were going to have the chance for some of those scattered downpours. But again, it's moving away from us. And aside from helping with the rain, we're really not going to see any effects for our part of the Gulf Coast. But again, this would be by Wednesday, perhaps, that it starts to move off the East Coast. Also, while we're talking about the tropics, there's also Tropical Depression 5. It is forecast to increase in its wind speeds just a touch, perhaps, which might put it at a very low end tropical storm. If that does happen, it would be the E storm Edward, the earliest on record in the Atlantic Basin. But it's not much of anything. It's over open water and not really going to affect anyone after it